वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सेवन सो दिस इज अ नेक्स्ट वीडियो सेशन ऑन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर एनर्जी इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैव सीन हाउ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन मोशन और वेन एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज सेट टू बी एट मोशन एंड वेन एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज सेट टू बी एट रेस्ट बट हेयर वील सी दैट इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज डूइंग एनी वर्क सो वट इज द सोर्स ऑफ दैट वर्क हाउ दैट पर्सन इज डूइंग वर्क ऑन दैट ऑब्जेक्ट सो दैट इज टोटली बेस्ड अपन energy so energy is defined as the capacity or ability to do work now when i say that how to calculate energy how much energy is left or how much energy is spent or compensated due to doing some work that is expressed in terms of joule so si unit of energy is same as that of work so what was the si unit of work that was joule similarly the si unit of energy is also joule another unit of energy is calorie so so calorie is the another unit of energy so joule is also we are using as a unit that is the si unit but another unit we can consider as calorie one calorie equals to 4.18 joule but if you round it off you will be getting 4.2 joule similarly one kcl k stands for here kilo that is one kilo calorie equals to 4180 or that is equal to 4200 joule okay so you might write here 4200 or specifically you can write 4180 both are correct so you see our universe is being run by sun so we the sun is considered as primary source of energy so it is the source of heat and light to every person every plants every elements this sun provides heat and energy so sun is considered as primary source of heat and energy so there are different forms of energy so let's see what are the forms of energy here so energy can be seen in form of kinetic energy potential energy light energy heat energy chemical energy sound energy electrical energy magnetic energy and nuclear energy so these are the different forms of energy so energy can also be seen in form of kinetic now what's what's the meaning of kinetic energy here you see if an object is in motion suppose a boy is running on the road so he is in motion then we consider the energy possessed by that boy is kinetic energy that means the object possessing energy due to its motion so when an object is in motion the energy possessed by that object is said to be as kinetic energy or we can define here the energy that an object has in its state of motion okay the energy that an object has in its state of motion so when an object is in motion the energy possessed by that object is said to be as kinetic energy okay similarly potential energy potential energy is also a other form of energy like uh, it depends upon position from the name itself you see potential so potential means if the height or the position of an object is maximum so the energy possessed by that object is also maximum so potential energy depends upon position whereas kinetic energy depends upon two factor that is mass and speed okay so if the mass of an object is more then we say the kinetic energy is more if the speed of an object is more so we say that kinetic energy is more so kinetic energy basically depends upon two factors that is mass and speed right potential energy depends upon position so how we are going to define it that the energy that an object has due to its state of rest or position okay so if the position is like you see i have taken a ball to a building at that is maximum height from the ground so we say that the ball is acquiring potential energy but as soon as i leave that ball then the ball will be falling down due to gravitational force of attraction so that ball will be falling with kinetic energy okay so 
this is the difference between kinetic energy and potential energy. I repeat once more, potential energy depends upon position, that is the energy that an object has due to its state of rest of position. But whereas kinetic energy says that the energy that an object has in its state of motion. So that is when an object is motion, we consider it as kinetic energy. When an object is at rest, we consider it to be at potential energy. So the next form of energy is light energy. So out of many energies, light energy is the only the energy which a human being can see. That is the energy which is visible to human being is light energy. Okay. So let's define here light energy. Light energy is a form of energy which is visible to human being or humans visible to humans so light energy is the only energy out of the seven energies or nine energies which is visible to human being right so when an, whenever any energy falls on any object so that object reflects that light and due to that we see in any object so you see whenever light falls on any object that object is reflecting light so due to that reflection only we are able to see that object around us so you see this light energy plays a vital role next we will see that heat energy so heat energy indicates how much energy is contained in that object okay so you see like we are using thermometer so thermometer is an instrument which is used to measure temperature so indirectly it is measuring how much heat is contained in that body when you are suffering from fever we place a thermometer in order to measure what is the temperature here but indirectly we are calculating here how much heat content is in your body so heat energy is a form of energy which indicates how much energy is contained in that object okay So heat energy, it represents quantity of energy contained in a body. Okay. So how much energy is contained in a body that is being calculated by heat energy. Now chemical energy, what is this chemical energy you see? Chemical energy, the energy which is released due to chemical reaction. So whenever there is a chemical reaction, in that particular time, the energy which is released we consider to be as chemical energy. Now chemical energy in can, can be in form of heat, it can be of most probably of a smell and all like you see, like uh, calcium, calcium carbonate that we use in a painting and all in our room, that room plastering while plastering we use the calcium carbonate that in the Indian Indian term we consider as chuna we say that so when you place water in calcium carbonate uh, so lime actually that is what I am going to say calcium carbonate is mean of lime so when you place a water in that lime you will find that the lime is starting started bubbling that means it is giving us heat so as soon as when you add water in that lime that lime starts spoiling so we say that there is a chemical reaction okay so the energy release let's define here chemical energy so chemical energy, the energy is released during a chemical reaction. The energy which is released during a chemical reaction is called chemical energy. Okay. So we have learned kinetic energy, potential energy light energy heat energy chemical energy now next we have sound energy so sound is also a form of energy which enables us to hear so it is also a form of energy which enables a person for the auditory nerves it helps the auditory nerves for detection for sensing the sound sensing the vibration generally sound is produced due to vibration so that vibration can be understand or we can sense that vibration by ear, by the ear drums, our ear drums also starts vibrating. So sound energy is a form of energy which helps us to hear sound or which is helps us to 
has got auditory nerves okay so sound energy it is a form form of energy that is related to the vibration of a matter we know what is matter matter is anything which has mass and occupies space so whenever any matter either solid liquid or gas starts vibrating then it, it will produce a sound so that is the sound energy okay so the next form of energy we have electrical energy so you see we have learned about charges so in an atom there are three subatomic particles we know that is one is electron that is negatively charged proton that is positively charged and neutron that is neutral charge so these subatomic particles they form or they create a force of attraction or repulsion and this is an inherent property of charge that means i'll just simplify it what is what is charge here charge is an inherent property of an atom which creates electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion so for which a substance is attracting for which the substance is repelling that forms a charge okay so electrical charge let's come here what is our next topic here that is electrical energy the energy which is formed due to flow of charges when the charges are not stable when it flows from one form to another so in that case it is called electric charge next we have electrical energy you see electrical energy is a form of energy resulting from the flow of electric charge so when an electric charge from the flow of electric charge or due to imbalance of charge in a body so electrical energy is due to flow of electric charge whenever any electric charge flows from one place to another so we say that there is a formation of electrical energy so this is the definition of electrical energy okay so previously i have just explained here so this is the definition next we have magnetic energy so energy possessed due to attraction between the magnet so north pole and north pole they repel each other and north pole and south pole they attract each other that means in a simple sense we know that like poles they repel each other and unlike poles they attract each other okay the energy possessed or energy that a magnet has is called magnetic energy you can write here possess also the energy that a magnet has is called magnetic energy this is the simple sentence which I have written here so the magnet either it can repel or it can attract next we have here nuclear energy this energy is basically based upon the nucleus of an atom we know that inside the nucleus we have proton and neutron and that is positive and neutral particles and electrons that are the negative particles that are moving around the nucleus in an atom so this nuclear energy it is based upon the nucleus of an atom the energy possessed by the nucleus of an atom is called nuclear energy okay i repeat the energy possessed by the nucleus of an atom or we can say in a simple sentence the energy that a nucleus has in an atom is called nuclear energy now how to get this nuclear energy we can get this nuclear energy either by splitting or by fusion so when we fuse when many nucleus when they combine to form one single nucleus that is called fusion but when a single nucleus of an atom that is splits that breaks into many smaller nuclei then we consider that to be as fission so nuclear energy so there can be two types of reaction one is nuclear fusion and nuclear fission fusion means addition of nucleus and fission means separation of nucleus so just define here what is nuclear energy nuclear energy states that 
the energy that is nucleus of an atom has you can write this the energy that the nucleus of an atom has nuclear energy okay and it can be fission or fusion so in in process of fusion or fusion we can get this nuclear energy okay this is an enormous amount of heat can be released like for example the sun is emitting heat and light so there is a fusion reaction going on inside the sun so many hydrogen atoms they combine to form a helium atom so there is a fusion reaction so i hope many students has got your textbook so you see you will go through the energy this chapter we will start go through the definition already i have given in the board but you can see from your book right and maintain a note important important points like you see kinetic energy what is energy what are the si unit okay what is potential energy so kinetic energy already i told that it is depends on motion you see the boy is running so the energy that boy is having is kinetic energy similarly here potential energy here the rubber is stressed you see rubber is pulled so the energy possessed by this stressed rubber is potential energy next we have light energy so this is the only energy which a human being can visualize that means the energy which is seen by a human being is light energy and this heat energy is the energy which helps to find out the quantity of energy like uh, you see how much quantity of energy is stored in a body that is in form of heat energy so you see a cooker on a stove so it is emitting smoke here you see so the as the source is being burned here the cooker is getting heated up so the energy possessed by a cooker is heat energy right next chemical energy the energy that is released due to chemical reaction okay so i have given example of lime so that is also a chemical energy next we have here you see sound energy the energy which is depending upon vibration of any object whenever any object vibrates it produces sound that is nothing but a sound energy electrical energy means it is a form of energy which is formed due to flow of electric charge whenever any electric charge either positive charge or negative charge when it flows from one form to another or one place to another we say that there is a production of electrical energy that is electricity when an electrons flows they produce electricity that is the electrical energy okay magnetic energy this is an application you see metro train and all their wheels and the track they get struck when the pilot of that train is applying brake so that is also based upon magnetic energy the energy possessed by a magnet is called magnetic energy okay nuclear energy that means that atom is possessing nuclear energy because atom has nucleus and the nucleus possess nuclear energy so this nuclear energy is in can be taken out or that can be emitted in form of either from splitting or fusing okay two atoms when they fuse they form nuclear energy when an atom they split the nucleus is getting split it that forms nuclear energy that is the fission and fusion nothing is okay so these are the chapters here and the notes also i will be giving these are picture that is a pdf files i will be giving in your group so you will be writing note in your textbook that is your exercise book okay and also you will write this one this true and false this one you will write in your exercise book